Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, John Bills. Okay, so if you joined me in the last video, I was showing you how I was adding all these rest of these uh, hammock cranes. And I was telling you about the problem I was gonna have as I started to move forward into the uh, into the uh, forecastle. So what I did in the end is I had no choice really, but I actually just removed this uh, this forward rail. I actually, uh, it was only glued on, so a little bit of wiggling and it kind of, it popped off. So the good thing now, all I have to do is just set it back a couple of mil. It's, it's only really all I need of a couple of mil. So now these forward netting cranes sit on a little bit before. Like I say, if I not adjusted that, yes, if I not adjusted it, then it would end up sitting like that. That would have been not great. So at least now they actually sit we're only a little bit of an angle over around about two mil or so. I can live with that. Okay, so all I've got really got to do now is just reattach that, glue that in, and then glue all these uh, little uh, netting cranes in. Like I say, I've gone back to just adding that little piece of wood just for that extra piece of security. It's only a uh, five mil by 0 0.5 mil thick, but it just adds that uh, extra length. So when you rock them, they they don't move. It's not it's not hundred percent. I would like it, but I just want it to be in the way years down the line that these all just don't start dropping off. So just by adding that little strip, it just gives that a little bit more security. So all I've got to do now is just glue all these in, paint it all black, glue that rail back on, then start to add all the uh, the netting, which is the next tricky little part. Okay, so I've finished off this. Uh, this forward rail off the uh, forecastle. And now I started adding some more netting to the midship part that I did in the last video. So pretty much been a trial of everyone on these nettings, but I think I finally got it to where I'm happy with how I'm uh, applying these. So one of the things I did, which I think makes this netting 100 times better, is I actually just gave it a bath in some diluted PVA. And I obviously just bathed it once, left it to dry, Baffed it again, left it to dry, and did it about three or four times. And now this has become, this netting has become very uh, rigid where you can kind of form it and it holds its position. One of the good things about it as well, so you can put your, your ruler on it and your knife and you can cut it really easy. And it becomes uh, quite nice. So before I, I actually baffed it in PVA, this was very flexible and didn't hold a very good shape. So now I can kind of know that this is a, 14 mil stanchion so I can kind of cut it 14 add five for the middle then add another 14 for the other side I cut it like that and then I just drop it into the uh, I'll show you on this section and I can just drop it in to between the, uh, the stanchions like that and then all I do is what I'm going to do now on this next section is then I start to just hand stitch it in this is a tiny piece of uh, really, uh, really thin cotton. And all I'm doing is just going one below the rail, just pinching the top of the netting and then just feeding it over. That's literally all I'm doing. One below, just feeding that one. Every now and again, I just, I just secure it with like a knotting one. But I found this to be uh, so much quicker than I've done all the all the previous ones. So hopefully I can probably do the entire rest of victory now and the time it took me to do a couple. I'll bring you in. Yes, yeah, so I'm literally just going under the first one, just picking up the first hole of the net and just securing it that way. And missing about three or four holes moving along secure it same again then every every now and again let's just loop it for like a knot lock in one and then just a tiny little bit of super glue and then just keep uh, keep moving along yeah so just change the angle so you can see it better so all it is just this uh, little bit of cotton just under the uh, 
the thread that I used across the top of the crane arms. So I'm just going on that, just picking up one of the holes and just over it. And so we're going to miss about three holes. So rip. same again, and this is, I'm finding this a lot easier and a lot quicker than how I've done it previous. And also at the bottom of this uh, junction, there's just a, a piece of wood in. It's around about five mil by three mil. And all that's doing is just keeping it weighted down why I'm stitching across and then when I've uh, finished I'll just pull that back out and that'll be one of the railings done. So I know it probably doesn't seem like sometimes that I'm making uh, a lot of progress so I'm hoping by sometimes just showing you these little procedures you can understand why it's just taking so long. So anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all again soon.